Nicky Caporelli with the face of Australian boxing, Ben Damon. Ben, we're at Hello. the Bendigo Stadium. We are. The atmosphere. How are you doing? Yeah, really good. Um, yeah, we just had the uh, weigh-in, as you well know, and um, yeah, things all good. Jeff Horn looks um, very big at middleweight, doesn't he? Like uh, we saw him against Anthony Mundine at that 71 kilogram catch weight, but uh, going up the extra kilo and a half or so, he's uh, he's really bulked up. He looks strong in the arms, across the chest. He was even carrying a little bit of weight. So it'd be really fascinating to see how he does go in what is essentially his first fight at middleweight. Yeah, you did mention how yeah he's bulked up a lot. How do you think that'll impact him? coming up in weight and he hasn't had a lot of experience at middleweight that fight with Mundine is very very yeah, quick it was yeah so we don't really know do we but what we have seen um, you've seen the footage as much as I have is um, that he's punching really hard in training like uh, he's hitting the pads uh, on a completely another level like, obviously that doesn't compare to going in against an actual person but um, but it does show you that he's um, he's taken that size up he feels a lot better he's so much more comfortable and weigh in day you just about had to carry him to the scales generally but today he's walking around he's still um, he's still signing autographs and having photos and the like so yeah that's the big question mark is if he brings that power up and what that can do to someone like a Michael Zarafa but um, yeah we do get to see and that's what make this fight, makes this fight so exciting. Yeah we, if, assuming Zarafa does weather the early storm because Horn does come out really hard from yeah. round one how do you think the weight will impact the fight if it does go into the later rounds? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, you did say if Zarafa weathers that early storm, and I think that's what it all comes down to because Michael Zarafa on a couple of occasions, most notably against Kel Brook when he was outstanding in the back half of the fight, he was very ordinary, particularly in the first two minutes of that fight, very ordinary and uh, took a lot of shots. I don't know if he comes out like that and is overawed by the occasion. I don't know how he goes against uh, Jeff Horner, who is just a lunatic early in his fights. He'll, he'll be charging at him early. He's full of power and he'll be trying to stop this fight in the first couple of minutes. So assuming Michael Zarafa gets through that storm, then we get to see uh, if Jeff Horn is as fit and as strong and as capable of um, going the full 10 rounds with this extra weight on him. I've been watching him train and um, he gives every indication that he is as fit as he's ever been, he's as committed as ever and that um, he will go the full distance without any trouble at all. Yeah, you, you mentioned the Cal Brook fight and obviously like, for, for Zarafa there was, was a lot more going against him with the travel to the other side of the world. Yeah. Climatise. He's only an hour and a half away here. He said he's been seeing a sports psychologist yeah. as well. How much do you think that will I, impact? Yeah, I think that's a great move that he has been seeing a sports psychologist because um, yeah, a couple of times, um, yeah, he has just been caught up in the occasion a little bit. Yeah, you're right. He's only had to drive 90 minutes to, to this event uh, rather than flying to Sheffield, uh, which he had to do there or fly to London and then drive to Sheffield. So, um, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's really there for the taking for Michael Zarafa. And it's a huge opportunity as well because with Jeff Hornby ranked three in the middleweight division at the moment and five by another of the governing bodies, then Michael Zarafa gets the opportunity to take those ratings and to potentially get into this fight with Verona Murata uh, in the place of Jeff Horn. I know there's an agreement in place for Horn to take that fight, but yeah, they'll be trying to do an agreement with uh, with top rank and with uh, Murata's Japanese promoters, the Zarafa camp, no doubt at all, if they do snatch a victory here. But um, yeah, Jeff Horn is the favourite in this fight for a reason. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's not a, an upset that would really shock the world if Michael Zarafa was able to pinch this one, but potentially outbox Jeff Horn late in this fight. So um, he's got to weather that early storm, though, and I think that's what this fight comes down to. Yeah, you were in the way in very intimate, very close with them. Did you see anything in their body language that kind of gives punters any indication? Well, on yeah, body language? I, I don't know. I haven't hosted a... Um, I don't think I, I probably have, but I don't recall doing a Michael Zarafa weigh-in before. Um, but I've seen him just before fights and um, yeah he, he can give a little bit of a nervy feel on occasion and maybe he did have that today um, up on the scales and in front of the crowd um, I don't know if that's any indication as to what happens tomorrow night but uh, yeah if anything maybe he was a little understated and Jeff Horn was probably as relaxed as I've ever seen him at a weigh-in um, he was very relaxed against Anthony Mundine because obviously he had the extra weight and he felt comfortable but um, there was a lot more tension at that way in and you'll remember Chock went the push in the throat and all that sort of stuff. Chock was really trying to put him off his game. There was a, a real tension to, to proceedings there, whereas here, they were just signing autographs next to each other and they shook hands before the weigh-in. Like, it's, it's more relaxed. Um, but then at the stare down, uh, Mick got right in his face. So he's trying to assert a bit of authority. He likes the fact that he's the bigger man. And um, the way they were standing, I don't know if you noticed, but Jeff was half off the mat and Mick was right on the mat. So it sort of accentuated that height difference.
difference, but it is significant. I think it's five centimetres or so, and there's an even more significant uh, reach advantage for Michael Zarafa. So um, there's advantages for him there, but um, yeah, it, it, I think it's about the occasion for Michael Zarafa and, and whether he does handle it. Yeah, they were very close at the stair down, almost yeah. kissing. But nothing <laughs> seems to phase Jeff Horn. He's just a very classy, relaxed guy. Yeah, well, he's not going to get phased at any point ever, is he? Because Manny Pacquiao was standing in his face um, only a couple of years ago. So he's been through it. He, he knows how it works. Um, maybe... Um, Maybe with the weight in, in Las Vegas uh, when he missed the scales the first time around. Maybe we saw him slightly rattled there. Maybe um, that preparation and fight week in particular, um, there were a couple of errors made in the preparation which may have unsettled him just slightly. Um, but outside of that, um, we've seen him completely relaxed. And against Anthony Mundine, I was in the dressing room with both of them before the fight. Chuck's always very relaxed. But Jeff was just on another level. It was like he wasn't there to fight. It was like he was there hanging out with someone else who was going to fight. Um, and then he walked out, stayed as relaxed and did what he did. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see him in that similar frame of mind tomorrow night where he's just completely placid, relaxed and ready to go and then just charges into centre ring as the bell goes. OK, and uh, gun to your head, what's your prediction? Um... I wouldn't be surprised if Jeff Horn could do something really strong early in this fight. I, I wouldn't be surprised if perhaps Michael Zarafa tries to ease in and Jeff Horn can steamroll him. But if that's not the case, then I reckon we go the distance and um, Michael Zarafa is such a classy, slick boxer. He's going to pinch rounds, no doubt. He's going to have strong periods at the back half of this fight and um, maybe it'll be Horn in front early, Zarafa coming home and, and Horn getting a result. So very similar to the Cal Brook fight. Yeah, well, that would be that would be very similar. Yeah, but I think it's going to be a different complexion to this fight in the first couple of rounds. So I'm really looking forward to to calling those first six minutes or so. Yeah, we're looking forward to hearing your analysis throughout the fight. And yeah, thanks for your time. Thank you very much, Mickey. I'm looking forward to having a beer with you later. For sure. Thanks, Ben. Well, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon dot com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace